All right, let's go over the uh, let's go to S and P, Gerald, real quick. The S and P. All right, so we established that this was a key level up here. We established this morning this is a very very key level. We can see yesterday we had a lot of congestion. Right at it also. Here, blow this up. Established on the S&P, this is a very critical level right here. Right here. Could not break. That's weekly resistance. Could not break it. Could not close a couple candle close. I actually put it right at 85 where the supply line is. 82 is a weekly level. I'll put it right at 85 so we're going to know when this thing actually breaks out. If we get above this 85, I'm looking for this big gap in the market to 3430. We're looking for a 45-point S&P play if it breaks above it. I said if it does not break above it, we're looking short all the way down to 64 as my first target for a bounce. It sure did. It came right down to 64. Bounce, rotated back up to my supply line, negative market delta straight back down. Now, if you notice, the entries are when you break, retest these supply demand lines and market profile levels. There's only three strategies we use, and I will put the auto uh, in the background in a second. It took all these trades, and we'll go over tonight in the conference call on the auto tonight. But I'll show you how it executes these trades, what I'm going over, that you can manually do yourself also. What the auto will do for you that the members will get is it will, it will tell you through, and you can even have your speakers on. I'll tell you if it's going long or short, if there's synergy or combination between these three strategies. We know we only trade off three different strategies. We trade off market profile. This works since 1985. It's a very leading indicator. We don't use lagging indicators in here. All these setups that we talked about this morning, we talked about way before it happened. Execution was just perfect on them. Two was you trade off the supply demand lines. So all the accumulation distribution is happening. And three, I got my symmetry trade, which we had three back to our two back to back big trades on that in a second. So if one, if two of these three combined together, we had it on crude oil this morning. Two or three combined at the exact price point to the exact bar. Two of these three, two of these three strategies combined to the exact bar, and crude fell almost 100 ticks to the exact bar. Market profile, my symmetry came together on crude oil. I talked about it breaking through low value area market profile, getting the retest. It broke through low value area. It retested the symmetry to almost the exact tick. Those two matched, had synergy together. Market tanked 100 ticks. S&P, before it happened, we talked about this critical level up here. I had an 82 on the weekly chart. I actually put it to 85 for you guys to know the next breakout. But we said if we cannot break this level by two candle close, which it did not do, then I'm looking for the market to weaken up, come down to this 64 level, and bounce. It came down to 64. It gave you a nice little bounce up to 71 to reshort it right on my supply line, and we got a continuation. So let's take a look at this. So we knew this level was critical level. I gave you my critical levels this morning. We all know my critical levels because I – I, I put them down for you. We all know what to look for. We've been trading off of the last month, month off these critical levels. These are all my critical levels we've been trading off. My yellow, magenta, blue. We've been just doing very well at these key levels. I got monthly, weekly, yearly levels on there that are very, very critical. Then we break down our levels here on the daily chart. We said if we can't break out, if we break out at 80, 80, 80, that 80 level, it was 82 this morning, 82, 85. It never closed two candle closes above it. Came right back below it. We said if it gets below it, look for a short down to 64. What happened is, is this is a critical level. Old demand becomes new supply. See how it closed two candle closes below it. Retested. There's your short. Then it came down on, on that supply demand line. Then we came down to my 64. That's my 64 level. Retested it at 71, almost stopped at the exact tick. These supply demand lines were known 48 hours prior. Stopped almost right to the tick on it. Negative market delta comes down to the next 64 level it tested before on the bounce. That was my target. 
and comes down now 57. So that's another entry. So what we want to do is we want to trade off market profile and we want to trade off supply demand lines on break retest trades. That's the whole idea. And what you can do is you can add synergy in it with it if you your sim dots hold. I've had this trade. It broke through my symmetry dots by candle close, retested it. It cannot close back above it. It did not. It's allowed to exceed the enter bar. We have negative mark delta. That's a sell. Then we close back below, retest it. Here's synergy. Market profile is breaking. Retest it within two ticks. Negative market delta, sell. This one, it got below low value area. It was cranking down. It retested it. But did we have negative market delta? No, this is not a sell. You avoid that trade. No negative market delta. It closed above my symmetry. Then we come down. I come back within one tick. My symmetry and market profile supply demand line synergy trades are three for three this morning. There's your trade set up. We had two market profile sim dot trades. We had one, supply, actually two supply demand a sim dot trades. Those were synergy trades. One, two, three. All right? That's how you want to do it. When you break through this symmetry, you want to rotate back up within one, possibly two ticks of this. I don't want to be more than two ticks away from my symmetry dots. Do not want to be more than two ticks. It takes too much risk. And we don't want to close above them like here. We don't want to close above the symmetry. The symmetry dots to me by themselves are effective but not very good together compared to market profile trumps it all. It's been working since 1985. It trumps everything. There's not in one indicator that can beat market profile in my opinion. Number two, my supply demand lines. I don't think anything can beat my supply demand because that's exactly where accumulation distribution is. So when I see supply demand getting broken like this over here, when I see it getting broken, and I'm my moving averages are coming down. We don't use moving averages for support and resistance, but trend direction. When it's coming down, I'm looking for a break retest. Break retest. Right? I'm looking for a break retest. Look how it comes off on demand. Looking for a retest now of this what? Of 64. We're looking for a retest 64, another short coming up. I'm looking for another possible short right here on this new supply line. Old demand becomes new supply. Old supply becomes new demand. Don't make it difficult. These three strategies, which are totally different, this has been around since 1985. Supply and demand is timeless. That's been around since the markets have even been trading. And then symmetry is what I've come up with when we first opened the room, the symmetry of the market is that those three strategies, when you get two of those three that come together, you have confluence. And this is what the auto will do. I will post the auto trades in the room in a second. It found these already. So what we're going to try to do, here, see, see the rejection? You think that's just by chance it came up there and got rejected? That is calling being smarter than your average opponent. We knew that the old supply line is it, I mean, old demand's new supply, and guess what it did? It came up to it and got rejected right off. Look how price rejects right off of that. You break, you retest short. Break, retest short. Break, retest short. Now what we'll do is look for 57 for what? Now we got two demand lines over here on my smaller time frame, my five sim larger time frame. I'll look for an ABC short. We'll look for a break, retest short. Now, did this last one have synergy between the sim dots at 64? No. Why? Because it did not. It closed above my sim dots. But did this one have synergy? Yes. Did this one have synergy? Yes. Did this one have synergy between my market profile, my supply demands? Yes. It's three for three when two of my three strategies work together. This is a no trade as far as synergy goes that's not a trade so if you were to click on the auto which I'll go over tonight and you want two of my three strategies to come together it would have picked these three trades one two three it would have avoided this one and this one okay we're simply looking for break retest trades of these three strat this is all we need to know we don't need to look at all kinds of different indicators 
Trade Station, Ninja Trader, all these they give all these indicators for free for a reason. They only work all indicator works once, but does it show leading indicators? Is it leading every single day? And that's what a lot of programs are lacking. These are leading indicators. Market profile is a leading indicator. These big red, blue, green lines. Get a couple candle close below them, above them, look for a retest. Supply demand, get a couple candle close below, look for the retest, look for negative market delta. Okay, Gerald, go over to crude oil. If I look at crude on my crude trade, look at crude, Gerald, real quick. What I talked about this morning before crude broke, Gerald, switch over to crude if you can, buddy. Wait for Gerald to switch over to crude. All right, I don't think Gerald's in the in the background here. So, if you look at the, um, at the at the crude trade, this was my big inflection point. I said low value area was sitting right here. Low value area was sitting right about there. I said if we break through low value, we break through low value. Look for the retest. It got the retest and crude fell 100 ticks off this level, this key level off the sim dots also. Okay. So in other words, let's try to only, if, if you are a member of the room, this is the only three setups you should be trading today, tomorrow, the next five, ten years if you have the system. This strategy will never change. It's the order flow of the market. That is the order flow of the market. 